So Team USA took an L today. The difference between the first two L's they took and this one is this one actually counts. Their first loss since 2004. 25 game winning streak snapped. I promise you guys this. This will be the first team in the history of USA Olympic basketball to come home without a medal. Not even a bronze. In 2004, they came home with a bronze. I promise you, they won't even come home with that this year. This team is not designed to win. They've never played together, and most of the guys on the team have always been a focal point on their team. A normal basketball team needs one focal point. They need cohesion. One player that they know is the guy. USA have 12 of those guys. This team is not designed to win. They've lost three out of four games. Nigeria took them out. Australia took them out. And now France. Yes, the world is catching up, but Team USA can't do what they've always done. Just grab random dudes and throw them on one team. The thing about NBA players now, injuries is so, so common. Hence why a handful of players will never be interested in playing in the Olympics. I.e. Stephen Curry, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and so many more of USA's best players. Let's start breaking it down even more. Damian Lillard has never played with great players on his team. He's a shell of himself on this squad. Stephen Curry would have been a way better replacement than Dame. Another guy, Devin Booker. Never been a role player on a team. How does he go from 40 points in a more intense NBA Finals to come to the Olympics, which there isn't 100% NBA players on the opposite team, much lower competition, and he's scoring four points. No team cohesion, no team chemistry, no focal point. Who's the guy on this team? This team is far more superior in talent than anybody else. But the truth is, the opposing teams play with these guys. The reason why the 92 team was so dominant was because they never actually played against those guys. The only time they ever saw them was watching them on TV. So most of those players were in awe. But Evan Fournier is a teammate of Jason Tatum. They absolutely go at it in practice. France, Australia, and Nigeria has good NBA players on each of those squads. The truth is, the sad truth, USA dominance is over. You guys saw what happened with England, how they haven't won anything in over like 60 years. One day that will happen with Team USA when it comes to basketball. If you love competition, then this is great for you. But if you're an American and love just dominating everybody, that era is officially over. What happened in 2019? What's currently happening now? The 08, 2012, and 2016 teams were all designed to win. And the world wasn't that good back then. They are that good now. The non-American players are only ascending in talent. We all know this. The finals MVP was Giannis. The league MVP was Nikola Jokic. Joel Embiid was also in the running. All non-American players. The world is caught up. I'm not saying go full out panic mode, but 0-2 now. This is super concerning. I understand their exhibition games and we're not trying and we're not going all out and all that. But the thing is, 2019, we were trying. The world is catching up. This is what happened. Besides the fact that the world is catching up, I really think a problem with our team is the fact that players need the ball in their hands to be successful. We don't have a lot of true role players and other teams have guys like Joe Ingles, guys like Patty Mills. They have stars and then they have role players. Team USA, it's concerning. Do you still think they're gonna win gold? in Tokyo. Let me know. If you're rooting for Team USA, this is extremely concerning. First off, the real ones know, you guys know, Gabe Vincent is a hooper. We, this is not surprising. He had that capability on the Heat this regular season. He showed that, but Team USA, it's very surprising. Even though Team USA disappointed in 2019, I think we all thought that this was going to be different. And to start off like this is a bad sign. I want to know, do you think that Team USA will win gold at the Olympics? Let me know. Not only did this man drop 28 points on Team USA, read this quote with me. They are better individually, but they can be beaten as a team. What? This is the thing with Team USA. These guys play together once every four years. These guys, the French team, the Argentina team, the Spain team, they grew up playing together. All those teams have played together for years. Team USA panic button is at like a nine. What do you think? Let me know. This is really crazy. Team USA is now 0-2 in exhibition games, losing to both Nigeria and to Australia. While everyone's saying it's just an exhibition game, while everyone's saying they're still going to get Devin Booker and Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, there should be no reason Team USA with Kevin Durant, Damian Lillard, Bam Adebayo, Jason Tatum, Draymond Green, all these different guys, there's no reason they should be losing 
to teams like Australia and Nigeria. This is a really bad sign for Team USA. It shows it's not that easy to just throw these guys in this little bubble together and start playing basketball. A lot of these other teams like Team Nigeria have been there for almost a month now, practicing together and getting time together. I think it's a pretty big deal, even though it's just exhibition games, but do you think this Team USA can actually win the gold if they're going to start off like this?